Hello, this is Heather Joshi, and we're going to walk through making the hallway drawing. So here's an example of the end product. I'm not too proud of it. Some of the lines are a little too thick for my taste, but the result does exhibit one point linear perspective. Here's a photograph of what I was looking at, a door leading into a bedroom. It is one point linear perspective because that back wall and window, you can see that they're parallel to the picture plane. Same thing with the door frame as well. So we have, um, three uh, perfect rectangles. So now we're looking at our setup. We got the easel, we got the hard surface to draw on, we got that 11 by 14 sheet of paper. Um, it's always easier while you're drawing observationally to stand and to have your um, surface vertical so you don't have to look up and down while you're observing what's in front of you and observing your drawing. Just makes life simpler. We'll be using similar materials, pencil, pen, marker, eraser, tape, but you'll also need a ruler. We'll get down to business, make our first mark, so just lightly draw rectangles. This is the door frame and the crown molding in the ceiling. There's the photo. Um, I started drawing the door and the hinges of the door. I use those hinges as a unit, so to gauge the space between the hinges, I said, okay, so there's one hinge width or height. How many of those are in the space between those two hinges? There's the photograph, and I guess as you see in my drawing, I kind of took out that bottom like quarter of the photograph because that's what I saw within my uh, cone of vision. Um, so there's the back wall, the ceiling, there's the photograph. And I'm starting to get, um, based on the angles that I took using the angle tool, um, I added those orthogonal lines that look like that kind of light X. There's uh, what I was looking at again. And so you can see those red lines are the orthogonals. The purple lines are all the horizontal um, lines that are within the door frame, the ceiling, the crown molding. They're all straight, lined up with the picture plane edge. And then we have those light green vertical lines, uh, which are present in um, the sides of the door, the door itself. So anything that's rigid and straight up and down is just going to be a vertical line. We'll refer to the photo once more. So that's just um, kind of sharing what I was seeing with you. Um, so now after lightly drawing in the ceiling, the floor, the walls, I started kind of fleshing out some of the other details. And I guess you notice that thin door to the left, um, it doesn't quite um, behave with the other orthogonals in this drawing because it's open and it's, um, it's sort of askew. So um, if you have any element like that, don't feel like it has to rigidly obey like that um, vanishing point in the orth orthogonals. Instead, you can find your angle tool to find the kind of the what those edges look like, but do um, make sure that your edges do converge. You don't want want them to flare out if it's kind of the whatever door or any sort of rectangular object is kind of receding from you. We'll look at the photograph once more. So in this instance, I added the towel, um, didn't get into the nitty gritty wrinkles and such, left it very simple. And I guess you want to start general, big, bulky kind of shapes, and then you sort of fill in the details once you make sure the big shape is correct and they, their scale relates to each other properly. Um, so in this stage, I felt confident enough to start adding the, um, the pen, and for that I used a ruler, and in this case I got off the easel and started working on the table. It just um, helped me make those clean lines. So, so when you lay down your ruler, in order to make sure that your lines are absolutely vertical or horizontal or um, true, as people like to say, make sure the little tick marks on the side line up with your sheet of paper. Um, you can also make sure if it like makes a 90 degree angle with your sheet of paper. Here my ruler is transparent, but this works for opaque rulers as well. So once you um, put your pen down, so I just kind of ran it along the ruler, slowly pick it up, don't drag it, and that'll prevent your ink from smudging. In this next clip, um, you can see that graphite line is kind of straying away from the straight edge. So um, I'm just showing you trust the ruler, don't trust your initial sketch, don't be afraid to make those corrections. 
So here's a picture of my drawing where I inked in all those vertical and horizontal lines. The line weight is uniform or it's all kind of, you know, a similar sort of width. Um, there's a picture of what I was looking at. And at this point, since I'm working on the tabletop, I just printed out a little picture that I could refer to. Um, and I just put it right next to my drawing. So it was just easy access. And um, I do recommend printing instead of using a, like a phone because screens are pretty small. All right, so um, yeah, I started adding in some more of those irregular shapes. Use that sort of um, kind of wavery texture for the towel to get that like terry cloth look. Um, added some more kind of broken lines within the kind of the molding around the door to describe all the ridges. And now we're looking at, um, so those red lines, so they're kind of like orthogonals, but they're not following the orthogonals of the, the ceiling, the um, the floor because the door is slightly open so they have their own sort of um, vanishing point so um yeah I started adding some more just little details within the towel folds um, there's um, in the plant worked on that as well but now I'm starting to kind of add those heavier lines with the markers and black forms and eventually just kind of added a floor texture a ceiling texture um, this example I, th for, I think is a little heavy handed, but I hope the process helps you just um, learn about linear perspective, use it for your own ends, and hopefully make drawings that are um, way more refined than this example here. But um, I guess it served its purpose. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what you make. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This is the end.